Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. All right now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about similar figure word problems. Answer each question and round your answer to the nearest whole number. <clears throat> if I was given this problem, a six foot tall tent standing next to a cardboard box casts a nine foot shadow. If the cardboard box casts a shadow that is six feet long, then how tall is it? So we have the tent and the box, okay? So it's gonna be, we got a tent here, let's, all right, yeah, it's like a, it's like a triangle tent, all right? Triangle tent. <laughs> and they said that tent here, it's six feet tall. A six foot tent right there. And it casts a shadow that is nine feet, right? Nine foot shadow, right? We have a shadow there. Then there's a cardboard box nearby, okay? And that cardboard box casts a shadow that is six feet long, all right? How tall? How it was the height there of that box. So we need to set up a proportion. All right, so we have the, the height, six feet, right? Height, six feet over h feet is equal to the length of the shadows as a proportion. These proportions, right? The, the measurements of them with shadow to height ratio should be the same proportion. So nine feet to six feet, okay? So to solve that, we cross multiply. We're left with six times six equals nine times h, and then divide both sides by nine to get h by itself. So that h value we found to be six times six divided by nine is four feet, right? So our height here is just four feet for that box. So quick recap, we're given the problem, a six foot tent uh, tall, six foot tall tent standing next to a cardboard box casts a nine foot shadow. If the cardboard box casts a shadow that is six feet long, then how tall is it? Well, we set up a picture diagram here and saw that this was a proportion. Then with that proportion there, we solve for a missing variable and that answer came out to be four feet. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.